Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings, everybody out there in the universe. It's your host, Sean Myrie of the Down to Earth Podcast. We're going to talk about today, Bill C-11. For those who may not know what Bill C-11 is, because I'm from Canada, Bill C-11 is this uh, new law that the Canadian government, probably the federal government, is putting out there to basically make sure that Canadian content is in the forefront, right? And it's a regulation tool that they have to put out there for content that they may deem unattractive to them. There's all this type of politics about this Bill C-11. But what I see from this Bill C-11 is to control freedom, the so-called freedom of speech. That if you put out something, for example, this BC-11, or not B, excuse me, C-11, Bill C-11. <laughs> this Bill C-11 will affect YouTube content creators in Canada. Bill C-11 is going to affect the way you promote, the way you upload content, like what type of content you're putting out. Um, and they could actually uh, charge people, right? They could charge you and make you pay for certain um, offenses, I guess. They haven't clarified that, but I uh, encourage people who are from Canada, who are content makers, to really read this time their guidelines. Now you really are going to want to read the guidelines and take it in. What the guidelines will allow you to do. So if you had, for example in the music genre uh, industry. If you're on YouTube and you had like 100,000, just say views, that was a normal norm on the average, average, you might see it go down to like 20,000 or something like that. It's going to affect a lot of things. So when you're making content now, just say you're an uh, urban artist, a rapper, for example, and you're making music, talking about ops, talking about killing people, a lot of negative things, not a balance. Your stuff is basically not going to get on the radar. It's going to really get, it's going to take a back seat. It's, it's like a shadow banning, but it's not shadow ban. It's like publicly telling you if your content does not, if it does not appeal to the CRTC, that's the governing body for media and broadcasting in Canada. So if your content doesn't appeal to them, you are going to fall all the way back like you're going to be at the bottom of the barrel because they don't want to promote that. And it makes sense why they, they wouldn't want to promote that. But uh, people, the opposition would say, this is freedom of speech. I was getting hundreds of thousands of views before. Now I'm only getting 10,000 views. You're going to have a lot of disgruntled people out there. But this is a good thing in my eyes because it causes a lot of artists, especially in the hip-hop genre, to be more creative, to come up with uh, better wordplay, um, better ideas, better visuals, right? So it's like a test, as I call it. But what else does this law affect? It makes you wonder. It, it affects opinion or is trying to sway your opinion to agree with their guidelines. So what do you do if you don't want to be controlled by these guidelines, what the government is putting out there? A lot of people are trying to find VPNs in other countries to use because they don't want to water down their content Um the best thing I would say is stop promoting home. Sorry to say, stop promoting things here because you fall in the algorithm as a Canadian, like you are mainly a Canadian-based content uh, platform, right? 
the more Canadian stuff you promote, the more you fall on that radar. So I don't want, we don't have to worry about that because we don't just promote to one place. We promote to everywhere, all around the world. We try as much as we can to do that. Bill C-11 is doing, uh, is in motion right now. It's in motion right now. So it makes me wonder because YouTube, they sent out basically a warning to everybody. Like they don't like it, but that the government is going to, is forcing them to have Canadian viewers uh, view what they deem uh, what's regulated and influenced from the Canadian government. But other platforms I haven't heard like this. So it's probably mainly affecting the YouTube algorithm. So what do you do? You got to go around that. You got to probably create other accounts from other platforms. What What's not under the police system from the CRTC. Yep, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, whatever they want to call it. They have all different types of names. So what do you do as a content maker? Do you keep promoting where you're from? Or you just keep uh, going and going until you, you see what happens, right? Because this bill is going to, uh, will affect your freedom of speech, right? Now, on YouTube, they already have certain things what are already in place, what, what are strict guidelines, right? Even in the comment section, you can't really say anything too bad or you basically get targeted your account. That's why a lot of people use these ghost accounts, as I call it, with it's just... Uh, it's not it's nothing to them so they'll say anything they want right but this bill is going to cr uh, affect creativity it's going to affect your creativity and it should affect it in a good way so that you your pen game gets better right um earlier um i had an episode a couple months ago talking about in jamaica with their um censorship that they wanted to ban all gun and crime lyrics and v v visual from their um, country, right? And I was, I don't know if people took that seriously, but I said that's yeah, coming soon to Canada because in England, they're already hard on certain type of genres, like uh, ex especially uh, what you might call it. Um, I still, it's, it's in the hip hop family tree, right? Drill. Drill music. They've been taking down drill videos and um, limited, limit uh, the exposure of that genre. And now even in America, especially where it's big in New York and the Bronx, uh, I mean in New York, the Bronx and Brooklyn, especially the Bronx, they've been talking about it a lot, how it's very um, influential on a lot of the youth down there and it, they don't like it. They don't like this drill music because um, it promotes violence, right? A lot of the lyrics are basically straight up, no filter. It's talking about what they they have done or what they're going to do. It's like, you know, something that is making it even more hard for um, the so-called freedom of speech. Because when you have... A lot of that stuff, what's going through the system, they will have an excuse to do whatever they want to do, right? Take away this and take away that. Remember, it's their system. It's their website or their site, what they control. So how do you go around this? Like I, like I mentioned earlier, maybe you're going to have to create your own website where it's not police with their policies. Probably that's the best thing to do. Create your own website with the links and you could add extra content where you know, which you know may not fit the other platforms, but it fits your platform. Seems that's the route many people should go. And me and my brother was talking about that years ago, that um, what's missing is a website for 
for example, artists, right? So this bill, look out for it because especially if you're a rapper, it's not going to do you any justice if you're talking about 90% in your raps is talking about negative stuff. If you're talking about women, if you're talking about um, killing, if you're talking about um, anything negative towards the, the LGBT community, all of that, right? But it makes me wonder, are they going to get strict on people who are, and we shouldn't be using it ourselves, but who are not black, who use the N-word when they're online or if they're on a platform? Are they going to allow that to be promoted still in our system? Or are they going to basically take that down? I want to see. This bill's no joke. I encourage people to go look it up, read it, and uh, how it may affect you if you're doing media. I encourage people to look it up, read it, and see how it's going to affect you in media. Because I know for a fact already, YouTube for a fact, that if you have undesirable content, what they deem uh, unattractive for them, a.k.a. the government, CRTC, your, your stuff is not going to go through. It's just not going to go through the way you want it to do. Or you're going to have to spend a lot of money to try to get it on a platform that's so big like Six Bus that they they are fight through that algorithm. But yeah, that's how it's going, people. That's how it's going in this Babylon system. They want to control everything you do. They want to control your communication. They want to control your unity. They want to control who you talk to all the time because uh, knowledge is the key. Information builds the fence, and they want weak people, all right? So this is going to be part one of many because this is going to affect a lot of people, and they're going to be coming back and saying, yo, I should have listened. Because, look, my video is down. My music is not getting the streams that it get, like it used to. Uh, what's going on? I'm going to say, I, I, I would reply that what's going on is what I've been mentioning over and over for a couple months, if not a year, that this is going to happen. They're going to bring into, they're going to bring something in to police everybody. So when they say Bill C-11, there's other things attached to it that you got to remember. Because, like I said, Rogers, Bell, two um, media sources, what provides uh, internet uh, cable or, you know, um, all types of things, they're with it. Because that's what, where people uh, watch their videos from, their, their phone, the internet. Everything's hooked to the internet now. It's all linked to the internet. So, they're going to control everything fully. This is the plan that they had to control the communications, what you listen to, what influences you, right? That's what they want. So C, Bill C-11 is no joke. They, they're putting down all these uh, restrictions on all these little things, what you could have done before, what allowed you to express yourself, but now you can't even say, say certain words or it might be offensive, if you get what I mean. So I want people to not just listen to me Look up Bill C-11 and compare it to what you're doing if you're a content maker or artist. Compare where the, 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 the areas may affect you and maybe this is the reason you're not getting certain traction on the, the internet or your uh, YouTube, right? So bless up to everybody 
out there. This is your host, Sean Myrie, part one, Bill C-11. This is law. <laughs>